Hello and welcome. In today's video, we are going to solve few questions of exercise 2A of the chapter Inequality and In Equations. Let's begin. Prove that if a is greater than 1, a plus 1 by a is greater than 2. Okay? So before solving this inequality, let's learn a small concept. Okay, so I have written a minus 1 whole square is greater than 0. So no matter what value of a we take, the value of a minus 1 whole square is always greater than 0. Let's take few examples. Say if a is equal to, we'll take some positive numbers, okay. 2. 2 minus 1 whole square is 1 whole square, which is 1 and it is greater than 0 ok let's try with a negative integer let's uh, say take minus 1 so minus 1 and minus 1 whole square will give us minus 2 whole square which is 4 and this is greater than 0 ok so this value becomes equal to 0 only when a is equal to 1 ok if we take a equal to 1 then 1 minus 1 will 1 minus 1 whole square let's see 0 whole square so this is 0 so only if the value of a is same the value of a minus 1 whole square will be equal to 0 ok so using this concept we will solve this question ok we know that when a is not equal to 1 ok a minus 1 whole square is greater than 0 in fact in this question we have been told that a is greater than 1 so this condition further justifies what we have already discussed ok so a minus 1 whole square is greater than 0 so uh, this a minus 1 whole square we can uh, break it using the identity a minus b whole square so this is a square minus 2ab plus b square right so using this same we will write a square minus we will have 2 into a into 1 which will give us 2a and plus 1 is greater than 0 okay so we will transpose minus 2a to right hand side of the in equation a square plus 1 is greater than 2a ok now if we closely look at what we are required to prove we have 2 on the right hand side and we have 2a at the right hand side ok so in the properties of inequality we have learned that we can add subtract multiply or divide the same value on the left hand side and right hand side so in order to get 2 we have to divide this by a so when we are dividing the right hand side by a we also have to divide the left hand side by a okay so we will have a square plus 1 divided by a is greater than 2a by a so you can write the so you can write the condition both sides are divided by a ok so you can cancel out the a ok so we are left with a square plus 1 by a is greater than 2 so almost we are nearing to our proof so we can split this up we can write a square by a plus 1 by a is greater than 2 ok we have a square by a which means we have a into a divided by a so we can cancel out 1a here ok so we will be left with a 
plus 1 by a is greater than 2. So this is what we were required to prove. Now coming to the second question. If a is greater than 0, b is greater than 0, a is greater than b, then we have to prove that 1 by a is less than 1 by b. Okay. So let's go through the given conditions first. So we have been told that a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0, which means a and b are both positive, right? And then we are told that a is greater than b. So we'll proceed with our solution using this condition. Given a is greater than b. So just like in the case of previous question, we will use the properties of inequality. We know that we can add, subtract, multiply or divide the same number to both the sides of the inequality, right? So what we will do, we will divide both the sides by AB. So we have A by AB greater than B by AB. Dividing both sides by AB. Okay. So now we can cancel out the A's and the B's. Okay. So A gets cancelled and B gets cancelled. So we have 1 by B is greater than 1 by A. So if we so if we look closely, this is exactly the same thing which has been asked. But the only thing is it is written in just the opposite way. It is just like saying 5 is greater than 3. So we can say that if 5 is greater than 3, 3 is less than 5. So this is basically the same thing. So we have been told to prove that 1 by A is less than 1 by B. And we have got that 1 by B is greater than 1 by A. So this is the same thing. So what we, so what we can do, we can express this in the way we have been asked in the question. So we can write, therefore, 1 by A is less than 1 by B.